Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and we're going to have a look at the MRCC and how USB MIDI works with this. So, um, firstly, USB MIDI is bidirectional, so you'll see two buttons and two LEDs for each port. So if we were to plug in a USB port, we could choose that port. Now, normally you could route elsewhere, like we'll route to 5, and we'll plug in our soft synth. We can hear that. But we could also route to other USB ports or actually to ourselves. So we'll take that off. And if we go like that, now we're routing the USB A back to USB A. Now nothing happens because the key step doesn't respond to MIDI messages, but that's what's actually happening there. In addition to the USB being bidirectional, it also has virtual cables. So there's actually um, four inputs coming over this cable. And how we select those inputs is we will hold this button down, and you'll see that four are shown here. And the one that's connected currently is input virtual input one, and it's green. So if I select that, now virtual input two, three, or four. You can only select one input at a time. So let's go ahead and, and select one, and then I'll route one, two, five, like we had before. And then we'll route virtual output two, to 7 and virtual uh, input 3 to 9 and virtual input 4 to 11. Now you only see one here and it's like well it's kind of a pain because you have to f switch through it to check but there's a quicker way. Let's go back to one. If you look over here in the window it's saying A1 so it's saying MIDI port A virtual wire 1 and it's showing that it's routed to 5. And if we move our cursor down there, whoops, and s rotate, you can see that now it moved it to virtual wire 2, and it's showing the 7. Virtual wire 3 was 9, and virtual wire 4 was 11. So if I scroll through this, you can see them changing. And now if, when I go below that, you'll see these being selected. So when the cursor is on the input, you can select any of the inputs and see what outputs are routed. And when you hit the USB ones, it takes four clicks because each one has four inputs. Now we're on the Bs and the Cs and the Ds. Now, what's really cool here is that when you get to the PC one, this is the uh, device USB that goes back to the PC typically. We have 12 virtual inputs as well as 12 virtual outputs. And you might say, well, why do you have all that? Well, it's because when you use a DAW, you can route each of the um, tracks to a virtual MIDI port. Or if you have a standalone soft sense, you can have multiple soft sense running and each one of them requires their own MIDI port and then you can use these virtual MIDI ports. So just like on the host port, if I hold it down, you'll see all 12 of them being lit up and I can choose whichever virtual input I'm looking for. So if these were coming in from the DAW, I could choose each one of them. Now, also, I'm going to go ahead and choose A. And we can route, so A was routed to 5. But if I hold uh, this down, now we're routing A to the PC port, which isn't connected right now, but I could send it out virtual port 1. So now this is lit up. Notice you can have multiple destinations for any input. So it's sending this now to multiple places. And the one that's on the screen is highlighted. Again, if we click over to um, the outputs, I can scroll through all the outputs of that A. And if we scroll, choose the input, we can go over to the PC input. And we can see all the outputs for PC inputs. Oh, I didn't, cho didn't choose any of those. So let's go ahead and do that just for fun. So I can hold that down. So it's one. I can do, let's see, we'll do these three. And then for virtual input four, I can do these. For virtual input five, I can do these. For virtual input nine, I could do those. And so now as we scroll through these, you'll see them change based on what the inputs were that you programmed. So there's no need to go and 
use a spreadsheet type application on your PC, you can map all your input, virtual inputs and virtual outputs right here on the front panel. And then you can quickly scroll through to see them right here. And that's uh, all I wanted to talk about for USB MIDI. Thanks so much.